for a world where there are fewer strokes and all those people who do suffer a stroke get the help and support that they need. I got to know about People's Voice Media through the BBC Connect and Create partnership uh, and through that it became clear that there were links between the work that People's Voice Media do and between uh, the work that we're doing. Um, and that there was potential that we could work together on a project. We set up a nine-week course uh, for eight people who've been affected by stroke in Salford. So they met uh, weekly for two hours, and we decided that two hours was probably uh, the most that people could manage with following their stroke, but actually that turns out not to be true. So we've learned a lot from doing this course. The course was adapted through working with People's Voice Media so that it was at the right level for people that have had a stroke. Uh, it was accessible and um, what was good was that the People's Voice Media trainers came here to learn a bit about what it's like for people who've suffered a stroke before running the course so that they made sure it was exactly right, the content was right and they, they led the course in such a way that everybody got the most out of it. We really wanted it to be led by the, the people taking part. Um, now, the, the stroke survivors and decided between themselves having discussed at length um, what the content of the films were going to be. They wanted it to be about stroke uh, and in the end they decided they wanted it to be about their lives after stroke and some of the coping strategies that they've got now so that that film could be shown to other stroke survivors, uh, other people who've had a stroke and they might be able to learn something from, from them about how they cope with different um, difficulties and disabilities after their stroke. Since my stroke I have, I have problems with my memory. Using a, a mind map helps me plan my day and also jobs that I have to do. Americano? No. Mocha? Cappuccino? No. One cappuccino and one black coffee, please. If people just give me a minute, I'll get there. Trouble at first making a cup of tea. But I learned not to overfill the kettle and I'm enjoying uh, uh, making a cup of tea on my own now. It was difficult to know what to expect because we've never, we've never done anything like this before. But I think, I hoped that people would enjoy it, um, that people would learn some new skills and that they would get some increased confidence. I thoroughly enjoyed the course and uh, met some good friends. I really enjoyed it, um, very much so. Good group of guys, training has been really good and I've learned some very, very good skills. I've got lots of footage at home um, of my children. I've never known what to do with it, so that was really good. It's the technical aspect of editing movies I found the most interesting. The feedback has been fantastic. Uh, everybody really enjoyed attending the course, which we did expect. But the peer support and the, um, the benefit that they got from working together on this project has been immeasurable, I think, that we know that they've formed good friendships between the group. Very enjoyable. Possibly make it a bit longer. Possibly make it uh, slightly longer per session, so say three hours rather than two. I, th I think the, the course is ideal as it is, um, and I'm sure that there's a large number of people that will, will get a lot out of it. It took us a while to get started, but um, no, even so, it, it worked great. I know from having spoken to them, you know, finishing the course, they feel that not only are they feeling better about themselves and they're in a better place, but it's made a difference to their family and their wives, particularly at home, uh, who have noticed the change in them and are feeling that they've, they've moved on, they've got more confidence as a result of taking part in this course. And you know, measuring the impact that that could have on people's families is very difficult, but I'm sure um, this course has made a big difference. Four people that took part of, of, are going to be Stroke Association volunteers and want to use their new skills um, to help make films for the Stroke Association. One of the other stroke survivors has been along and filmed a, a fishing buddy day that we ran in Salford. Other organisations have taken an interest, so they've supported the Cardiac and Stroke Network for Greater Manchester in um, a review that's taking place of stroke services in, in Manchester. So two people have been along and, and uh, took part in discovery interviews, which were filmed by one of the participants. Any 
organisation that's involved in, in health and social care should consider a course like this for um, their clients because, as I say, we've seen such an improvement in people's confidence and their, as a result of that, I think people's health and well-being will improve. Um, and also, you know, it is really important that we are not just consulting with um, patients or, or people that use health services, that that they're involved and that they feel genuinely that they can take part and influence decisions and taking part in a course like this does give people a different way to, to get involved in decision making locally.